Uh, what's up everyone um today i'm gonna show you how to do a song intro so um what you're gonna need for this is your song so i'm using persian freestyle and then you're gonna need your clips so i'm gonna be using one of exotics clips and so yeah so uh oh it's already synced nice um so you're gonna sync it up um and then you're gonna unlink it and then go to retime controls and now you're gonna want to go to the first frame you see the gunfire Add a speed point there and go three frames back. Just go, I don't know, just go until, just maybe, I don't know, like 20 frames. So, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 15 frames. So, there. And then make this middle one 200. And then make this back one 50. And then the front one 50 as well. Alright, so now what you're gonna do is just cut this down and then. Yeah, this looks fine. And I wanna turn the audio down a little bit. And then I'm gonna get a sound effect there. Um, Alright, so now what you all came for um, the 1000 damage or 2000 damage effect. This usually works better with um, numbers that end with 0. It's so like 200, uh, even though that's not in the game anymore, 180, 120, all that stuff. But anyway, so you're just going to click on this and hold Alt and drag it up. And so now what you're going to do is, so usually the numbers are like, like stretched right there, kind of, or squashed, I guess. So that's usually for like one or two frames. So what I'm going to do is just cut it here, this back part, and then go one frame forward. So that's There's only one frame of that little squash thing. And then just the first frame of the 200, so I'm gonna cut it there, delete that, and now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So I have two frames. This one, I'm gonna um, go in front of it, click on it, and go to the color tab, and I'm gonna go here and click the circle, and then drag these red dots in. And so pretty much now you're just going to size it down until you get it to fit. So I'll see you when I finish that. Alright, so once you finish sizing it down, you're going to come over here and add alpha output and connect this blue square to the blue circle. Go back to your color, um, your um, timeline, and pretty much what you're going to do is go here, click on it, and press this little four box, this box with the four little um, dots on the side. And if you don't see that, you, you'll see something here, so you click that and just want to press transform. So you want to click on that, and then pretty much you can just move this, and you've made a copy pretty much. So mine looks pretty bad because there's like the x for like the pellets on there but that's fine because it's only gonna be one frame but now pretty much you want to do the exact same thing make a cutout on the next one with the big 200 and i'll see when i do that and just another thing when you're zoomed in to move around if you hold control and use your scroll wheel scroll wheel you'll go up and down if you hold control shift you go left and right that's just a little something you want to know so mine looks good there i'm gonna add alpha output connect these there we go and so now what you're going to do is right click on this clip, go to change clip speed, and make it freeze frame, replace, and you just want to drag this out until the end of the clip, so I'll have my clip end like right here. And so yeah, so alright, so now what you want to do is um, pretty much go to the first frame of it and drag this over. And pretty much, now what you want to do is, um, listen carefully, keyframe, zoom, position, X, Y, and rotation angle. And now you're going to want to do this. Every frame, you go frame, and then adjust it. And then just keyframe the other two that you missed. Because if you don't do that, it's going to look messed up. So now, here, this looks this zero looks a little too big, so I'm going to size it down like maybe 0 0.95. And that looks perfect. So now I'm going to put that there. And now I'm going to go next frame adjust it that looks pretty big so 0 0.9 maybe that's still a little too big 0 0.85 uh, that's still too big 0 0.8 so yeah that looks good 0 0.8 looks good and now i'm gonna keyframe rotation angle and then i'm gonna go next frame
And as you can see, the color's a bit off, but I'll get to that later. And I'm gonna keep from rotation angle. And now, pretty much, since this part's now 50% speed, that means it's gonna be 30 FPS. So, there's, um, not 30 frames, yeah. So, every other frame is gonna be staying the same. So, these sa frames are the same because it's 50% speed. So, now, what you might do is you might just, like, skip over that frame. But if you skip over that frame, you'll mess everything up. So, you're gonna still have to keyframe all of these. Even if you're not changing anything, just you have to keyframe, press the keyframe button for all three of these, every frame, or you're gonna mess it up. So now I just go next one, and just adjust it. And yeah, so just remember keyframe at every single frame, even if it doesn't move at all, just keyframe every single frame. So yeah, I'll see you when I'm done. And just remember, you, you really wanna try to be very precise because you, you want to try to leave the same amount of space between the numbers every frame and have this the same kind of base um, Same base as the other numbers. So you gotta be really careful because or else it just won't look good And yeah, so it this process can be really tedious and annoying, but it looks cool. So I guess it's worth it Another thing you're gonna want to make sure you're not using optical flow or frame blend because um, it just makes it a lot easier when this is 50% 30 FPS because um, you don't have to do as much and frame optical flow definitely don't use that because um, it makes it all the numbers kind of look weird sometimes and this number will be looking the, the same so just don't make it optical flow at all. Okay, so um, I finished mine. It took a little bit, but um, yeah, so but now you can obviously see that this does not look clean. This number is a lot brighter because the 200 at the beginning is brighter than it at, at the end. So now what you're gonna wanna do is pretty much just, um, you're gonna want to go here, go to the color tab, and pretty much you're just gonna want to go over here, keyframe corrector one, and you're just gonna wanna um, initiate this keyframe, turn that to like 0 0.1, and then just go to the end and make it like negative 100. So it should get gradually darker as the clip goes on. See how that looks. So yeah, it's obviously not dark enough, so there's still more stuff we can do. So we can also keyframe um, shadow at 0 0.1 and at the end of the kill. Make it like negative 20. Don't make that too dark or it'll look weird. But yeah, so now it looks a little bit less popping out. So, um, other things we can do are, um, my bad, um, you're gonna wanna make, make this a compound clip too. And you're gonna wanna go into fusion, control space, color corrector, add it, and now you're gonna wanna go to the beginning, keyframe it and go to the end, and make this maybe 0 0.7. So yeah, it gets pretty dark. Yeah, there, that looks a little bit. It's a little too dark, actually. Um, 0 0.8. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, so that, that looks, it looks... It looks okay. It looks okay. Um, there's obviously some things we can do. So if you want to get like really precise, what you can do is you can go here and um, keyframe this and make this like maybe 0 0.9. So make this darker first. Which could could work, and you can also go in the t color tab. But I made that a compound clip, so it's not possible. So just mess around with those three, and just try to m make the color the color you want. So maybe eight five. So yeah, that that looks pretty good. And then I can have it. I can have it get darker quicker. So maybe like right here, it'll hit. 0 0.75 and yeah so see how that looks so yeah it, it fits in a lot more once you do those like, gamma the shadow and all that so yeah so now what I'm gonna do just to finish this clip off I'm gonna add an impact so this is my um impact where's it, where is it um hard impact um I'm gonna have a video coming out very soon with um, all my DaVinci settings. I'm just gonna give them all to you guys because 
Um, I've been editing on Premiere Pro, or my I'm editing my videos on Premiere Pro. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep making tutorials on DaVinci and everything, but um, I'm just I'm just like personally editing Premiere Pro because the DaVinci playback's awful. But if they fix their playback, I'll come back and everything. And just the exponential keyframes are much easier. But I'm gonna be giving you guys all of these, and I'm gonna show you how to use them in a future video. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe for that. But anyway, I'm just gonna add this on. I'm gonna resize my thing. Okay, and now I'm gonna add maybe a little um, pre shake. And I'm gonna make the. Um, I don't know. I think DaVinci actually um, had an update or did something that ma they made it when it's about to crash, the screen flashes and it brings you back. I don't know if it's something new or something, but. I haven't crashed once today, and I've had like the loading thing where it's about to crash, but then the screen flashes, which has never happened to me before. But I'm gonna go color corrector on here, and I'm gonna go halfway through, so 30 frames keyframe gamma there. By the way, if you guys are not using um like gamma, which it's like it's like super cool, like makes it get really dark, you should use color corrector gamma and keyframe that for maybe like a fade because it looks really good. Yeah, and another thing, um, gamma can also be used for just opening in. It's a lot, it's a lot more creative, I guess. So pretty much, if you just drag an adjustment clip over the top. Wow, that just broke the whole thing. Nice. You drag it over the top, like right here. Um, you go into adjustment clip, and now you go there. Control space, color corrector. If it doesn't add it. I don't know, you just have to do it again, I guess. But, um, pretty much you can just go to the beginning, keyframe it there, and just turn it down to zero. It's gonna look like that, it's fine. But, um, now you're gonna want to go here, and you should bring that all the way up to one. So, it's just a, it's a really, I guess it's a creative way to do that. And what you're gonna wanna do, it, the first frame looks a bit weird, so you're just gonna cut off that first frame, so. Yeah, and it's just a creative, um, um and And I'm gonna show you a cool um, impact effect now. So it's um, you can use this with the free version if you want. Uh, um, not the free version, no plugins. So pretty much just get a glow, add in an uh, adjust adjustment clip, and pretty much just copy my settings. I, don't, I think they're the default settings, but pretty much you're just going to, on the kill, makes uh, shine threshold to zero, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Make it one. So it's like a quick. Quick glow, it looks super nice, super nice. And another cool, um, I guess, um, pre effect you can go to um, S underscore flicker um, and just drag that on into the pre, -sh pre shake. It, it works really good with pre shakes. But pretty much what you want to do is go to the beginning, keyframe at zero, and go to the end and keyframe it at full. And it just has a, like, it, the flicker just intensifies crazy and it looks super nice, super nice. Um, another thing, I don't know if this works, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it, but, um, um, if you here, and just, um, hold alt and drag it up. Since it's a combine clip, you can make copy, so, if you were to just do that, and go here because it has the same keyframes and everything. Wait, I'm gonna want to put the in oops. I'm gonna want to put the impacts and the glows above it. I think it might let you just um, if you just um, this down. Drag it over and you just press this again. I think it can let you just add another zero so you can have like. Um. 
I'm um, not really. You can kind of get it to work, maybe. You guys can mess around with that, but if you want to add another zero, you can just do the whole process. Wouldn't recommend doing how I'm doing right here, because that looks bad. But, um... If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. I want to hit, I want to try to hit 5k before the end of the year. Um, comment any questions in the comment section, and peace.